Welcome to Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy, 365 Days with St. Faustina. The world we find ourselves living in today is a world of increasing violence, chaos, despair, and interior isolation. It's a world in which so many are connected through the means of modern communication, such as through the daily headlines and social media. As a result, we are increasingly aware of the countless problems and tragedies that so many people face each and every day. These tragedies are becoming a means of constant curiosity, satisfaction, and even obsession for so many. As a result of being constantly bombarded with the sensational problems in our world, we are drawn in daily to the painful drama of a fallen world. We see sin and its consequences everywhere we look, and it takes a toll on our souls. So how do we deal with this constant awareness of the evils, sins, and pain of so many people? on such a regular basis? The only answer to that is what this book is all about, The Divine Mercy. The Divine Mercy must become the lens through which we see all things. It must become the filter for everything we take in and everything we give out. The Divine Mercy is so deeply needed today and we can rest assured that he who is divine desires to bestow this precious gift in abundance. What is mercy? More specifically, what is the divine mercy? The divine mercy is the grace and love of God alive in our lives. It's God acting in us, upon us, and through us. It's God taking control of our lives and teaching us how to think and how to act. It's God possessing us so that we do not become possessed by the craziness of the world we live in. The divine mercy of God is like a fountain of endless water in the midst of a parched and arid desert. It's the source of refreshment and newness of life that we all seek whether we realize it or not. It's the deepest longing of our hearts and the only thing that will ever satiate the longing we have. The world we live in tries to satisfy and satiate us through constant stimulation, excitement, drama, and intrigue. The world is constantly offering us a false sense of happiness and fulfillment. The first step to discovering the divine mercy of God is to see the world for what it is, to see the lies and deceptions all around us, and to turn our eyes to this font of truth and grace that we were made for. We need to turn to the divine mercy. As a fountain of grace gushing forth in an arid place, the divine mercy of God comes from a hidden source, keeps going and never runs out, and produces all that we need to find satisfaction in life. It's like a vast ocean that we are called to plunge into and enter its depths. It's endless and all-consuming. Jesus has always given us images to try to describe the love he has for us. He is the loving Father, waiting for his wayward Son to return. He is the Good Shepherd, who seeks out the one stray sheep. He is the Good Samaritan, who cares for the foreigner in dire need. Of course, these can never fully explain the depths of his mercy and love. Each image brings its own meaning to each person, based on one's own personal experience and history. One recent gift that God gave to us is Sister Maria Faustina Kowalska. She was born on August 25, 1905. 
in Krakow, Poland, and died October 5, 1938, in the same city at the age of 33. At the young age of 20, she entered the congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy in Warsaw, and what was later transferred to Plock, and then to Vilnius. It was in Vilnius where she met her confessor, Father Michael Sprocko, who helped her immensely with many mystical graces she received from God. Sister Faustina was graced to receive daily private revelations from Jesus by which he revealed to her the abundance of his divine mercy. At the direction of her superior and Father Spracco, and Jesus himself, she kept a diary of these mystical experiences which is known today as Divine Mercy in My Soul, Diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska. The goal of this present book is to walk through the pages of her diary, reflecting upon its messages over the period of a year. The diary is reflected upon in a way that the reader will be able to easily ponder the message of divine mercy as it was revealed to Sister Faustina by Jesus himself. On April 30th in the year 2000, Pope John Paul II canonized Sister Faustina on Divine Mercy Sunday. With her canonization, the messages of Sister Faustina continued to spread to a world so desperately in the need of God's abundant grace. On December 8, 2015, Pope Francis began an extraordinary jubilee of mercy for the Church and world. This book is a fruit of that year of mercy and was written during that jubilee year so as to help each person who reads its pages to enter more deeply into the divine mercy of God for years to come. <laughs>